Over the next few days, I'm gonna spend 24 hours playing Rust, one of the most mentally scarring survival games. <gasps> no, 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 no! I wanna piss people off. You know, build a stain on the landscape and hopefully shove some explosives down somebody's throat. Oh! Bro, he's just chilling, like, his boat is over there. Okay, free boat. After those two hours of grinding, I surprisingly went to sleep. I had big, big ideas for the following day, but, uh, apparently someone else had other plans for me. Yeah. That was an interesting morning. Alright, let's see if we're raided. We're good. That's beautiful. It's a little bit cramped in here. But it's good. It's our home. The half wood, half metal base. <laughs> okay. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. There's a horse. Oh, no. And this is how I met my neighbor, Ren Schnitzel. At this point, probably one of the wealthiest players on the server. But I also knew he still had some stuff to recycle. So I just went straight back to see if he left me a weapon. I got 13 bullets in my nail gun. He was still recycling, so I made my way around the back and gambled on him coming out of this one door. If my gamble's wrong, then there's zero chance I kill him. Bro, he's just gonna go out the other side. No, he's not. No, he's not. I trust. Okay, now we run. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Time to probably AFK for the next couple hours while that guy goes around every single base and sees which one is mine. And that's exactly what he did. I spent about 20 minutes running over to the satellite dish for some loot. And when I returned home, someone was there waiting for me. Oh, who the fuck is that? I have a slight feeling that's my neighbor. I don't want him to see my, you know, face. Probably already did. Yeah. He saw my face. I told you. I told you. I told you. Gotta wait till he's in. I gotta wait till he's in. No way he's heavy. Okay, it's over, it's over. <laughs> I can't believe he was in heavy. Yeah, I, I, you know, I gotta give it to him. That's the only way I don't kill him there. Is because he had heavy armor. Okay, well, um, I think it's time to start over. Rai, you happy? I now had an enemy, a raid to work towards, and a free ticket to a non-existent social life for at least the next few days. Since the snow is much better for resource nodes, that's exactly where I went to put my new base down. Pretty far from my old location, but it was going to be worth it.
Hi, so we have a slight issue. Oh, oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, we're good, we're good. Whew. Okay, that guy's not good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, just so we now know, that fella is not friendly. Oh, oh my God, we made it. Easy, didn't break a sweat. Oh, I'm out of arrows. After seven hours of grinding, it was finally time for bed before the real work begins tomorrow. Come on, man. Don't be raided. Please, please don't be raided. Please. That sounds good. Oh. Oh, we're good. Not raided. The single armored wall <laughs> worked wonders. Oh, okay. The only thing that's respawned is the blue key card. That's that's all we need. At this point, I was on the other side of the map at Satellite Dish, so far from my base. So when I eventually wanted to go home, it wasn't the easiest trip. Where he went, but uh, Whew. all right, that was a little bit messy. Where the fuck am I being shot from? Blue card has been acquired. Got an extra Tommy. That's all right. Tiny little bit risky, but definitely worth it. By this point, I was still living in an ugly stone box. So it was time to expand the box. Feels good to not be a total idiot. Wait, can I even get in? <laughs> I don't think I can get in. <laughs> uh, my external furnace base was now done. I added a third floor to the base and then I returned to the train tunnels to farm some vital scrap. I was pretty quick, looted at least five different stations in about 20 minutes, but on the last one, right underneath the safe zone, something happened. These guys are recently killed. Oh, that's why. Hm. Didn't realize he was dead. 
Okay. I was pretty lucky he only had a revolver. But if there's one thing you should know about Rust players, is that they're very fucking persistent. Ain't no way. No. I can't believe it. Oh, he's in the safe zone. Looking back at this, the sleeping body I found wasn't actually the guy who tried killing me, but it didn't really matter. I was somehow still alive. All right, I've decided we're buying a heli. <gasps> no, 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 no. After that shit show, I spent about two hours just upgrading the base, looting the Arctic Monument, and preparing for my first raid. I had one neighbor who I'd never seen before, but they lived in this heavily upgraded 1x2 guarded by what I hoped was only a few doors. I crafted all my sulfur into explosives and just went for it, hoping I could be quick enough before too many people came over to investigate. Alright. Please. Yep. Oh, a nut. Please blow up. No, no. Thankfully, the train didn't stop, but I still had at least three doors to go through, and it wouldn't be long till people started showing up. A satchel is never blown up that quickly on me. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Oh! There's a guy over there. Oh! It's fine, it's fine. I can come back. Is he going to finish it? Yes, he's done it, he's done it, he's done it. I felt like I had him cornered, but I was missing one thing, a flashlight on my fucking gun. Probably the most vital thing in a situation like this. The guy eventually sealed the raid. I tried raiding back in, but it wasn't very fruitful. So once I managed to kill him with a shotgun, I decided to just give up and go to bed. Tomorrow was my chance to raid again, hopefully with a better outcome. Oh, not raided, I think. Yep, we're chilling. After about two hours of farming, I thought it was finally time to fly over to the small oil rig since the loot there is usually insane. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, oh. This probably isn't going to go well. Yeah, it didn't. I did eventually get into the vents of the oil rig, but by that time I was already dying of the cold since I actually fell in the ocean. All I could do at that point was kill myself, come back with a wetsuit, and just pray no one found my stuff in the meantime. Alright, a little bit close. But we're fine. I was extremely lucky. And honestly, the rest was pretty easy. I took out a bunch of scientists and got to the top. And then it was time to go into the red key card room. Where the jackpot of loot was. Oh, I forgot about this shit. Hold on. The server did not just crash. There's no way. Was it me? Please say it was just me. Nope. The server crashed. And every time the server restarts or crashes, oil rigs get reset. So, uh... The locked crate was gone, and all the loot was gone, and I was going insane. Wow, 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 wow. Ah, just another day in the life. Mm, I have to. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't tell me they're in Red Room. These guys were still doing the red card puzzle, which meant I was going to have to jump on them. All I had to do now was be patient. Yeah. 
Ooh. Time to run. After I depoted the loot for that kill, I set off on a boat towards Oyerig. Again. Okay, man, you're making me look bad here. Okay, this might be it. It was close, but I somehow never died. All I had to do now was the red card room again and hope the server doesn't crash. Oh, this is the good loot. So my first successful oil rig was done, but I obviously missed one thing, the locked crate. So I spent the next hour or so in the train tunnels, farming scrap until I arrived at outpost where I then bought a heli, flew straight over to the oil rig and cleared the heavy scientists, and finally looked inside the locked crate. Okay, that's pretty bad. Alright, reset, reset, reset. Oh, I, can't, I can't, I can't. Eventually, I did manage to land the heli, but it wasn't long before oil rig respawned again and I flew straight back. This time, though, it didn't go so smoothly. Okay, yeah, that was a bad idea. Um, okay. I deserve to die. Yep. Oh. Yeah. The heavy scientist for some reason got stuck on the floor below me, so when I went over to the helipad, I just got utterly molested. But I swam straight back to try get my stuff. Oh, look at it, man. I'm wasting all my fuel. No, 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 no. Okay. This fucking boat, man. This fucking boat. Okay, see? I was at least 20 hours in at this point, and things were starting to go sour. I'm dead. Yeah. I'm dead. Oh, oh, well. So instead of sleeping, I turned to something that surely couldn't go wrong. Raiding. I feel so bad. After this failed raid, I decided to save the rest of the explosives for tomorrow. But just before I logged, I wanted to see what my old friend Renschitzel was up to. And uh, it didn't seem like much. That's his base. Wait, is he raided? Maybe he hasn't been online. I don't know why I'm getting in there, but I guess I can say I've been in there. Yeah, I was almost in there, but Ren didn't seem very active, and honestly, as much as I wanted to raid him, I know it was way out of my reach. I'd already spent three days trying to get to this point, and I was still miles off. So, I think you won this one, Ren. But, you know, that doesn't mean I won't be back in the future. Alright, am I raided? Doesn't look like it. Uh, I left all my doors open. On the final day, I raided two bases for not much profit. Okay, that is not good. Died trying to counter people fighting Bradley, did one final raid, and then gave my base away to a guy named Rat. Oh, is he here? Oh, what's up, man? None of this ended the way I wanted it to. But I'll be back, and next time, it'll hopefully end on my terms.